Welcome to Crafty Hints. I'm Chantel. I want to thank you so much for visiting my channel today. If you're new here, a special welcome to you. Today, I have joined Corey from Crafted by Corey in her mini challenge for fall and Halloween. So if you've joined us from the playlist, I do hope that you'll stick around and be one of our new friends. Let's get to crafting. DIY one. I started out with this foam tray from the Dollar Tree that I used in another DIY. So I just traced that lid. Now I just continue to trim that down until it fit. And now a little bit of hot glue. And we will just get that in there. This is a glass, it's one of the like clear glass salt and pepper shakers from the Dollar Tree. I spaced spray painted it ivory and now I'm just bending up the edges just a little bit so that I'll go in there and adhere to the hot glue and I think you can see I have spackling right there and we're just going to make some foam to go on top of our little pumpkin spice latte here so I just took a sandwich bag and I took some of the spackling from the Dollar Tree and I just put it in there with a popsicle stick. Pretty easy so far, right? Unfortunately, this is where my camera starts to act up. So I lost a little bit of me putting that foam on top, which is so frustrating to me because Ah, it turned out so cute. All I did was cut a little snip in the corner and squeeze out that foam to make the top. I smoothed it out just a little bit. I sprinkled some cinnamon and then I took some like cookie sprinkles and just cut them up a little bit with my X-Acto knife and put those on top. I am so sorry that my camera kept shutting off on me. Now I'm taking one of these water slide decals. I printed that on my printer. Once it was dry, I sprayed it with some clear spray. And then I did that three times. And when it was completely dry, I was able to do this. You soak it in warm water for about 30 seconds, slide it off that paper backing and just apply it here. And I thought this was pretty fitting says pumpkin spice everything. Now all you wanna do is take your paper towel and just keep wiping the excess water out. And you can still adjust it a little bit. That's what's nice, it's not like a sticker. Once it's stuck, it's stuck and it's hard to move. I'm sorry, this is a little bit out of frame there. And I could see just a little ripple, so take a little bit of water and just straighten it. And at the top as well, as you can see the little bit of the bevel there on the jar. So sometimes you have to play with that just a little bit, but I think this is adorable. I'm that foam just turned out too cute. It's just a spackling and you know, like I said, tiny dot of ivory paint, little sprinkle of cinnamon and the cookie sprinkles. You can so do that. All I did was squeeze it on top and then sprinkle those. How cute is that? This will be perfect on my tiered tray. A special thank you to our host, Corey from Crafted by Corey. Here's a little bit of her channel. Um, I think that you will not be disappointed if you visit it. Uh, a little bit about the playlist that will be linked below as well as Corey's channel. So visit them both. DIY2. Here is another fun fall mini. I started with these acorns and I used territorial beige by Apple Barrel. And then I just used my heat gun because, well, I'm impatient. I wanna get to my DIY, right? 
So I found on the first acorn that the top of these acorns were a little bit difficult with that taper. So what I discovered was if I used two, if I doubled over the jute twine and I started at the bottom, that would give me a good base there. So I just cut this and glued it down. And then what I'll do is I'll go from the top and start to work my way down doing the same thing but adding more glue because that taper at the top is really steep and the glue or the twine just kept wanting to slip down. So give yourself a little bit of extra glue. I used it sparingly so that it wouldn't stick out but you definitely want to make sure you have enough on there. And then I went back up and I did the stem of the acorn. And just wrap that one. That one's really fast. Just give it a good twist. Glue that down and then you just make sure everything's anchored down well with a little bit of extra glue. Kind of cute. Next, I wanted to give it a little bit of texture. So I used a little bit of mineral chalk paint and just dry brush that. Then I wanted a little bit of a darker color so I went in with some home decor antique wax and brushed that. Next I just took a tumbling tower block. I'm attaching it to the back and here we are. I think it gives just a nice little fall touch and that will be a good accent on my tear tray when I actually do it all up. I've been doing this in stages, making some fun minis. So here, take a look. DIY 3 I started out with one of the Dollar Tree's pumpkin ornaments and I painted it in the Waverly pumpkin. Now I just went with some paint that I mixed up to make a lighter pumpkin color that I used in another DIY. And I just went back with some more of the pumpkin to kind of take it in and just make some shading. Basically here you're just trying to make the ribs of the pumpkin so to speak and make it your own. Now I took some tumbling tower blocks and I'm gluing the two together. I took some hazelnut and I'm just giving this a once over to make a stand for my pumpkin. Now I took some jute twine and just wrapped up the stem area. Pretty easy so far, right? It doesn't have to be difficult to make cute decor. Now here you could use other stickers if you wanted to. I had my Cricut handy so I made this decal. And now I'm just taking some floral wire and I just wrapped it around my weeding tool. So anything thin you could use the end of a paintbrush if you wanted to. And I just pulled it out so it makes a little bit of the tendril for a pumpkin. You could do this before you did the twine. I would probably suggest that so that you could glue the wire down, but I just tucked it under and it was perfectly fine. I made a couple of those. Then I just took a floral leaf that I had and wanted to make a leaf for my pumpkin. Again, not complicated, right? Here we go. Hold that in place. And now we just need to put it on our stand. So I painted three of the tumbling tower blocks. I will glue two of them to the back. And just stand that up so that it stands right. And then I just put another block up a little bit higher for support. Here it is. DIY 4 
I started off with this box frame from Michaels. It was 99 cents. I liked it because I didn't have to worry about the paper or what color the frame was. I could paint it or stain it. So I just went over it with antique wax uh, and a wet wipe. And then now I put some Mod Podge in there and then I put a piece of scrapbook paper. On my scrapbook paper, when I cut it out, I centered the truck. Well, I made it up in the top third, I guess, of the page or the box. So I used a little bit of Mod Podge and then made sure there was some in the corners. All right, and as I told you, my camera was acting up, so I apologize. All I did here was use some of the hula skirt, wrap it around my hand a couple times, and then tie it up at the top, kind of like you do with a tassel. And then I just snipped both ends and trimmed out a little bit of the extra in the top to make a corn stalk. I will link a card to another one that I made a corn stalk in, if you'd like to see that. I use these mini hay bales from the Dollar Tree. By the way, the corn stalk, you could use raffia. Gosh, I hope if you're enjoying this that you have hit the like button and subscribe and hit that bell so you know when I have a new video up because I'm having fun and I hope you are too. So I glued all of these in place and then just added a mini pumpkin. And with the truck in the background, it looks like it's part of it. It doesn't look like it's just paper. It looks like it's all together there on the farm. So I thought this was fun. And then I just pulled some of that corn stalk up a little bit so that it's partially coming over the top of the hay bale. I hope you like this. I sure do. Is one more look I just want to take this time to thank you for watching I do hope that you've enjoyed this video and that you've liked and subscribed and come back and visit have a blessed day here's a couple videos that you might also enjoy don't forget to go down to the playlist